Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Monica and this is the Big Kid Monica YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing my pickups and Barbie haul for the month of May. So this haul is quite small. I only picked up two things. I've been trying to save my money. Also, there wasn't a lot of stuff out at that time that really piqued my interest. So I just grabbed a couple of things, but excited to share it with you. But before we get started, please make sure you're subscribed to this channel and that you have your notification bell turned on. I release new videos every week, whether they're normal videos, vlogs, makeup, tutorials. I also do some fun shorts showing my different dolls in my collection. So please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of those. But now we're gonna get started. So for May, like I said, I only picked up a couple of things, but the first doll that I picked up was this one here. And this is the Barbie Makeup Artist. So. What I like about this doll, the first thing that actually caught my eye was her hair because I hadn't seen a Barbie with this sort of teal, bluey green hair before. One of the fashionistas actually has like a blue hair, but this was a more teal color, but it's so cool. The only thing it's like kind of not really symmetrical, which happens with a lot of the Playline dolls now that the attention to detail with the hair is just sort of like, it's there. And that's it but I really liked that and that's what made me want to buy her because it was so different as I said she's a makeup artist so they have gone into detail and in making sure that she's wearing extra makeup so she's got this fun yellow and purple makeup look here which comes out and this fun pinky purple lip and the makeup actually matches her outfit which is this leopard print top which is pink black and yellow and then it's meant to be a skirt which is black and then it's got this makeup artist toolkit on her waist as well. I would have liked it to be separate, you know, not just an image put onto the dress all in one. It would be cool if it was something that you could strap onto her, even if it didn't have brushes in it, that it was just something extra. Because sometimes the cutting cost of just printing things just brings the whole quality down. The price point isn't hugely great for these dolls anymore, but still... It would be cool. She comes with a bit of makeup as well. So she's got this little palette here with three colors in it and it's raised. You know, you can sort of pretend to be using it. When you close it, it's got on the front a little pattern as well, a fake mirror. And then in the other hand, she came with a brush. So it looks like one of those brushes that you would do a highlight with or a bit of contour, that sort of thing. But it's cute that they've incorporated some tools into her profession. Her shoes are also these pink platform slingbacks. They look like they would be quite comfortable if you were doing makeup artistry all day, standing on your feet, you know, they're quite practical. I like that she's, her skin tone is quite dark and she is just the normal body sculpt, but the dark skin tone is really beautiful and it matches her hair really nicely. So I like that. I think she's quite a good doll. I haven't seen a makeup artist Barbie before, so it's nice that these other careers are getting mentioned as well, not just the big ones like doctor and astronaut and that sort of thing. I like that Barbie's venturing out into all different careers and that there can be many types and looks of Barbies out there. I think as well, if you've not seen the Barbie trailer for the new movie, they make a point of saying that all of them are Barbies. So they all look different. They all don't look like the blonde hair, blue eyed, skinny Barbie. They're all Barbie and they're all different and they're all celebrated, which is amazing. And I think that's a really good thing that Barbie does is that they celebrate all body types and everyone. And it's a great thing. So I like this Barbie, glad to have her in my collection. She's a little bit like, I don't know if you can hear it. Like her head's a bit loose, but it's fine. The price point I think maybe was like 15 Australian dollars, which is not a lot, but it's very cute. So the next thing I picked up has been a Barbie that's kind of taken the internet by storm. And I think it's really, really great. I got the Barbie who has Down syndrome. So she's part of the Barbie Fashionista line, but she's the first Barbie of her type. So what I like about the Fashionistas, and I've said it before, is that they are so inclusive and there's so many different abilities and 
um, Barbie looks and that sort of thing incorporated. But now to have a Barbie who has Down syndrome, I think is really great representation. I think it's great for other people who have Down syndrome to have a Barbie that looks like her. I think Kmart in Australia was ahead of the game because we had dolls like this already. But now that Barbie, who is such a worldwide huge brand, has a Barbie like this, I think is really great. So on the box, unlike the other ones, this one here actually has the little logo for the National Down Syndrome Society. So I think this is an American thing. And then her picture there, she's absolutely beautiful. And she looks like this. So she's got features that are quite indicative to people with Down Syndrome in a very positive way. So she's also shorter. She has this beautiful dress on. She's Her necklace is also, I was... I heard something about it, I can't remember specifically what they said, but it's meant to represent one of, I think, the chromosomes or um, something in the necklace, which is a really cool touch. And she looks like this. She's got pink shoes and pink um, leg braces on, which is also really cool. And she's part of this collection. So these are all really bright and fun. And I've got most of these already, but there's quite a few new ones out. So she's number, what did she say? Was like number 208. So love that the fashionistas are still going. I think they've been a really positive thing for Barbie and they release new ones multiple times a year, new collections. And I think she's really pretty. I'm going to keep her in the box just because she is so special and such a um, like a point in history that this has happened. So I think it'll be a really cool thing to have. But those are the only two dolls that I have to show you for picking up in May. But I think they're both really cool, really special, really fun dolls. And it's nice to see the things that Barbie are doing, especially now that Barbie has become so popular again, like a huge resurgence with the movie. So it's nice to see that they're still pushing forward and still doing great things. So thank you so much for watching as per usual. Please make sure you comment on this video. I reply to every comment. Love hearing your thoughts. Let me know if you've picked up these dolls and your thoughts. And please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video very soon. Bye!